Well, we need some beacons here. I just realized. Um. Oh, jeez. Maybe I can kill one of these uh, links. That would be nice. We got one. Okay, so my teammate used his ability. I'm going to use my ability now. And then again. So while I'm doing this, my teammates are killing him. Okay, so today is Thursday, and that means it is Dreamhangers time. So I have selected a comment from one of you guys, in this case, Bella Fanto. So thank you, Bella Fanto, for submitting your Dreamhanger. And uh, basically, Bella Fanto wants to know whether this hanger can perform uh, in the current meta or whether uh, they need to change up something. So they are a returning player. Uh, we do have a Mars. We've got a Kepri, Scorpion, Nether, Ravana, and also the Indra. So we're going to be taking a look at that. And uh, as you can see, we do have the Mars here with the Labrys weapons. So I think in the current meta, this build can probably do pretty well. Uh, the only thing is the Mars is expected to get a future nerf. Okay, so in the next update, I think uh, this robot is going to get nerfed down. Uh, to what extent, I don't know, but we are testing it right now on the test server. Um, figured I should mention it. Uh, the Kepri here with the Spears uh, and the Daltaki. A lot of players tend to like the Otto Schreier, but... You know, I tend to lean more towards, uh, you know, legendary pilots uh, for the robot specifically, if it makes sense. Uh, so not sure about the Daltaki, but we'll get into that in the second half uh, of this video. Uh, we have the Scorpion with uh, Harpoon weapons. And uh, these weapons will be getting a nerf down. So kind of just do keep that in mind. We are testing that as well. And I'll probably offer like other options that you can... Uh, you know, turn to to make your Scorpion a lot stronger. Uh, also the Mars. Uh, we have the Nether with Magnetars. So in this case, I think the Nether might be getting a nerf down as well. But we'll take a look at that in terms of the weapon setup. Okay, so we have that. Uh, we have the Ravana here with Havox. And the Manny Pilot. Uh, you know, nothing against Manny, but I don't think I would use the Manny Pilot uh, for the Ravana. And I'll get into all of this, you know, in the second half. And uh, for the ones who aren't familiar with Dream Hangers, basically what I do is I build the hanger to spec according to the viewer's request. And I run a couple of games. And then I will showcase the best game which highlights, uh, you know, that hanger. And then I go in and I make tweaks. Uh, tweaks could be uh, to the build itself, you know, like maybe changing out the weapons, maybe changing out uh, the passive modules, uh, possibly the drone or the pilot skills in order to make that hangar more effective. And I figured, you know, this is a really good uh, sort of learning tool for players because then they can kind of streamline uh, their builds and save up on like resources uh, where it's actually needed. So that's pretty much how Dream Hangers uh, works. Uh, we have the uh, Indra here with the Veyron and Lance. Uh, interesting combination. I don't think I would run it, uh, but I'll get into all of that in the second half. And a couple of skills here. I'm uh, actually not sure if these skills are going to uh, work uh, well with this Indra. But, you know, after a couple of games, I can always go in and change things according to uh, what I feel is best. Um, the same applies to the modules as well. And I do believe they requested the Thor. So we do have the Thor here with the following turrets. Um, but that aside, let's uh, drop into a couple of games and I'll showcase the best one. And then we're going to go in and we're going to start tweaking things. I'm uh, trying to see if I can perhaps um, attack one of these players. I'm not sure what this guy is in. Oh, well, I guess we have found out. Let me just get out of here. I got him down to his last stand, so that's kind of a big deal there because the next attack is probably going to end up killing him. Unless the, uh, the red team gets to me before I'm able to do that. Wait, what is this guy in? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, this guy's going to be landing here soon, or he has landed. Let's attack him. Oh, no. Got him. Yes. Lot of links here that I got to deal with. We had some uh, micro freezers there. This guy is almost down to his last end. Last end has been triggered. No, hasn't. He managed to uh, actually... Well, we need some beacons here. I just realized... Um, oh jeez. Maybe I can kill one of these, uh, links. That would be nice. We got one. This guy's probably gonna end up killing me, right? Yeah, okay. Oh man, they're dropping in even more links. Okay, we need to get some beacons here, quickly. Let's use the nether. Okay, we got him. 
Let's hit this guy maybe with an orbital strike there, perhaps. Yeah, we need to get some beacons very fast here because if we don't... This guy's going to use his ability, right? No, he didn't. Ah, oh, come on, guys. Get... Okay, this guy's going to get the, the one beacon. So one thing I have noticed with this lineup... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, one thing I have noticed with this lineup, there's a lack of tanks. And tanks you need in order to defend beacons. If you don't have tanks, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Especially with all the Crisis Reapers and stuff out there. I'm going to see if I can perhaps help this guy with this one. Okay, um, yeah, we only have one beacon here. If we don't get, a, like, another three beacons soon, this game's going to be... It's going to be over. Okay, so I wouldn't be surprised if someone drops in over here, right? It's possible. Okay, we have uh, three, I think. I'm going to try to push another beacon on this side. Yeah, we need to get our home beacon back and maybe push their home. We need to do a four cap because their beacon bar is way ahead of ours. I do know a couple of changes that I will be making, though. Like, definitely to that Ravana. Um, probably to actually this uh, Kepri, too. Okay, so we got uh, that beacon. I'm just trying to push maybe another. Hopefully this guy doesn't drop in over here, though. But I can see him definitely doing that with a Titan. Um, maybe I can still get this beacon, though. Because he's above me. He can't target me. So we have that going for us. Okay, we have a four cap. This is good. I gotta keep on targeting this guy. He can't get this beacon. We gotta... Yep, there we go. They're losing a lot of titans. That's also very good for us. Okay, we got that titan. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to heal up. I'm just taking on a lot of damage here. I'm trying to stay alive in this for as long as possible. Um, I may drop in actually over here with my Indra. I don't know if this is going to help much, but it might. Every bit counts. Nope, I'm taking on way too much damage from another Titan. I'm trying to do as much damage to him as possible. So one thing with this Indra that's actually really bad, you have close one close range weapon and the other two are range. You never really want to do that. You got to either decide, do you want to go um do you want to go with uh, range or do you want to go with close range? And for this particular hangar, or at least for that Indra, I would do close range. Yeah, I'm just going to get smoked here. I have no choice. Oh my gosh, and now the Newton has come come in. Yeah, so I'm pretty much, like, this hangar is now done for. Like, once they got those beacons, like, it's game over. Okay, so I'm going to move over here, but the game's going to be done. Also, I'm going to make a change to this Ravana because I don't think I would use uh, the Manny pilot uh, for it. And I'll explain all of this, uh, you know, when we get to the hangar. Okay, let's see how we did here. And I'm going to try to improve this hangar and try to tweak things. Um, it looks like we were down a player as well. Okay, so this is how we did. And uh, now we're going to go in and I'm going to make some changes here, you know, based on the games that I've actually played uh, with this hangar. Okay, so first of all, this actually did uh, pretty decent. Um, you know, another option, if you don't have these weapons, uh, you know, mace can work really well. Okay, so um, uh, you could also try using the beak on here, but I'm going to keep uh, the Kestrel for now. Uh, for this one, I kind of want to see how this does, um, you know, without... Uh, you know, the Otto Schreier, but I'll keep the Otto Schreier for now. I wouldn't use the Daltaki. Okay, so I think uh, one of the changes I would do for this, either using the Kestrel, uh, Paralysis might be another one, or uh, the Beak. And I think I'm going to use the Beak just because it's really annoying, you know, when you have that stealth, at least to the enemy team. So we're going to be doing that. Um, also, in order to boost the damage, uh, you know, further, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a last stand on here. And then I'm going to put an extra uh, nuclear amp. Okay, so we have a uh, last stand. Uh, also, this is a range, uh, you know, build. So 
I want to try to maximize that damage as quickly as possible. So we're going to try this. Um, for the scorpion, um, this can work, but there's other options. Okay, so you could use also um, Sonic. So maybe I'll go with the uh, Sonic. Uh, because these weapons are going to get a nerf down. So I think um, it's a good idea to show players, uh, you know, other options, you know, weapons you might actually have uh, that might even work better. Okay, because uh, the Sonic can actually work really well against tanks. Like if there's an invader or Fenrir or something on a beacon, uh, you know, this build uh, works a lot better. You could also try the, you know, blast shotguns, but I think... Uh, you know, the burst damage of the Sonic or even Cryo Rockets could work really well. Um, I don't think I would use the Whiteout. I mean, it can be really annoying, but I think uh, probably actually using the Beak. Uh, Paralysis, you could use that too, or the Kestrel. Uh, maybe try, yeah, let's try the Kestrel. Beak would be my other option though. Okay, so we have uh, that. Um, I think the Nether is good. Let's just see what we have in terms of that. Um, you know what? Let's try the beak on here. Yeah, I tend to use the beak more often now just because of the stealth. And I find it helps a lot. We could also use paralysis as well. Uh, that's another option. And uh, for this. Okay, so that works. Um, I would like to actually use the beak on here as well. Okay, so that stealth, you know, just to be super annoying. Uh, to the enemy. So we're going to go with this. Um, also, I would not use the Manny Pilot. So one of the reasons why I would not use the Manny Pilot, I'm not sure if you caught in the gameplay, uh, you know, even though it was towards the end, I only have two abilities. So you want to go with the On of Poe. Okay, so if I can find uh, the On of Poe Pilot here. So this one gives you an extra ability uh, charge. Okay, so you're going to have three charges and that is a big deal uh, for the Ravana. Um, I'm going to change this skill here and we're going to go with um, shot grouping, so sharpshooter. So I think uh, those are the main changes for the robots. Um, one thing I would do you know, maybe possibly including like a Fenrir just to kind of hold, you know, beacons down. Uh, if you do that, I would probably replace the Scorpion first um, because you do have quite a bit of range. And I think uh, the Fenrir might help, uh, you know, to help balance this lineup. Uh, for the Indra, I wouldn't use the Lance on here because of the ability. It's kind of like a Ravana. Um, it's actually more suited for either Vajra or Evora weapons, uh, being that we already have uh, you know, one of the sonic weapons on there. So we already have the Veyron. I might as well stick with the Evora. So we're going to change this up. And uh, in terms of the Mothership, uh, you could use the Thor. It was actually helpful in quite a few games, uh, if I'm being honest. Uh, so you can definitely use, uh, you know, the Thor. Another option is to use the Paladin. But I'm going to stick with uh, what you have here. Or, you know, what I came up with. And... Uh, Actually, yeah, we're going to stick with this and we're going to run um, another game. We're going to see if the changes actually helped uh, this hangar. And uh, with that said, I guess let's drop into game number two. Just going to move behind cover here because they do have a player back there. I think he has some range or something. We got to deal with this one here. My teammate should move onto the beacon though. I was just kind of using the other player as like, well, the other player on their team as bait. We're going to need to uh, to get another beacon here. I just have to do... Oh, wait. There's another one here on this side. So, you know what's actually really helping here in this situation? Is having that, um, that beacon here. Try to deal with those guys. I'm going to try to see if I can maybe target this guy, but I'm almost dead here. I could have killed that Aphian because um, when I dash, I have the pilot, which has shield breakup. Yeah, 
I don't want to shoot him now because he has his uh, shield up there. But he is going to be dropping, so we should be able to deal with him now. Where is this guy? He's going to go into flight soon. I just wish that my teammates would move. Okay, he's on this beacon. That's perfect. Yeah, I needed someone to move onto that beacon so that I could push. Um, push the center or something. Okay, so we got that. Um, I'm going to hit this area with an orbital strike. They might get... Yeah, they got this beacon. No! <laughs> Maybe we can get rid of this one. And you know what's really helping is having that beak. Okay, because I go into stealth and it's really annoying for them. I think I should be able to kill this guy. There we go. We almost have a 5 cap on them. Oh my gosh. This game might be over real soon here. There we go. I put an orbital strike there on their end. It just linked to this guy. I'm not sure if it linked. No, it didn't. Let's try to maybe target this. Uh... Trying to stop this player from getting into center. We did lose the left side. Wait, is this guy... Oh, wait. We have a player on the right flank here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop him from... Uh, getting this beacon. Okay, so my teammate used his ability. I'm going to use my ability now. And then again. So while I'm doing this, my teammates are killing him. So now I'm going to uh, do that. So he's over there. We're going to use our lasso on him. We actually have some really good teamwork here with this other um, Indra. I'm hoping that this player moves over this side because if he does, our two Indras can actually, if we time it right, we can uh, deal with him. Okay, so let's see if... Uh... Yep, so you see what my, my teammate's doing? I'm going to have to use my ability here soon when he fires. Let's use it now. I'm going to use that. And that. That should help. Got him, right? There we go. Well played. This, uh, this other Indra on my team, he did a very good job. That was good timing between the two. Okay, so I'm going to ditch this. We're going to try to get another beacon here. Maybe I can drop in with the scorpion. What is this guy in? Where is this guy? I didn't really do much with my scorpion. <laughs> I had a I had a game earlier which I wanted to showcase. Um, but that game, I got so many kills with the scorpion. The game was almost over and I had only run one bot. So I'm not going to feature that. Uh, this game, I think, was a lot better because you could see some of the changes I made. Uh, but we did 6.4 uh, million damage, 4 kills, 5 beacons. And this is how we stacked up. They were down a player though uh, by the looks. Maybe even possibly 2 players by the looks of it. So uh, yeah, thank you very much to Bella Fanto for your dream hanger. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay for it. And once again, to everyone else, if you'd like a chance to be featured in a future dream hangers video... Make sure to post your dream hangers in the comment section down below. And with that said, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. And until the next dream hangers, I'll catch you guys later.